Neil, defeat in the end, what did you make of that one? Um, first half was terrible. Um, they worked twice as hard as we did without the ball, with the ball. We let them do what they wanted with the ball and we played into their hands without the ball. And, you know, that's everything we worked on. It looked to me like we hadn't done any work on the game. And we did videos, we did, um, we worked yesterday really hard on the performance and how we was going to play and how they would press, which is what they did, and how we would deal with that. So, you know, it's disappointing when you go out there and you see a team in the first half get outworked. I was going to say, what do, you, what do you think that went wrong in that first half? I know sort of towards the end of the half they got in a couple of times. Disappointing, I suppose, to concede that, that goal just before half-time as well. Well, it was coming, wasn't it? So... We, listen, at the end of the day, we we lacked tempo, energy, uh, intent in the first half, and we worked on it yesterday. And now we was gonna, you know, how we was gonna work at breaking them down and causing them problems, but we didn't do any of it. But it it was energy, tempo, aggression, basics really. The first half. Forget. Listen, you can't play well every week. You can't, you know, be free flowing every week. But. You start with them basics and they came away from home with a real intent in how they were going to defend and press and run and work. And we turned up thinking it would be, it looked like, thinking it would be a, a stroll. And, you know, we're 1-0 down, probably deserve to be 1-0 down first half. Um, second half, we changed the shape, changed personnel during half, played with more energy, played more front foot. And in the end, you know, Dallow's had three 1v1s, I don't know, three, it felt like three, the goalies made probably three or four great saves, chance to equalise, and then forget the last goal, because that's a breakaway right in the last minute, but the second half was different, and we were on the front foot and they hardly got near our goal, just because we played with a little bit more aggression, forget how well we played, we just played with more energy. We obviously talked a little bit about Gateshead yesterday. Was it a case of them being pretty good as well? Yeah, good team. Listen, I know they're down the bottom, but I've watched them, I said before, they play good football, well coached, good team. But regardless of that, every team's going to be a challenge. But I'm annoyed because we've got a squad that we've worked really, really hard to put together in the last month that I think is a very, very good squad with a lot of good players. And as a manager, it's it hurts me when the team turns up for the first half and plays lackluster, which is what happened. I don't know if you've had a, a chance to look at it back, but did, what did you make of the, the Dallas penalty shot around 80 yeah, yeah, Listen, Dallas said he was just about to shoot, he got shoved in the back. So, it's, listen, I didn't think there were, I can keep moaning about refs, but the most important thing I moan about is my own team, um, because the ref didn't decide the result. Um, yeah, we could have got a penalty, but I can only focus on how my team plays. And, you know, if we're going to get where we want to go in the last 18 or so games, a high level of performance has to start with incredible energy, intensity in the way we play, even if we're playing well or we're not playing well. And today it didn't. Just say three important away games coming up now. Yeah, and you know, it might do us a favour, three tough away games, all, all difficult places to go. But, you know, we've got to bounce back. And, um, you know, I can't, there's nothing I can do about today now. I've told them how I feel. Um, and we've got to react and we've got to go and win at least three of our last four games in the first block of seven that we had to, to keep us on target for what we want. Just a final note, obviously Jamie Osborne coming back into the side, I suppose it's important to have that competition for places, isn't it, going to such a, a crucial run of games? Yeah, because we've got Saturday, Tuesday, so the midfield engine room to have the legs needs, you know, not everyone can play ten games in five weeks, it's going to be impossible, so I've got to choose who, where and what, but whoever has the shirt can't perform like we did in the first half today. Whoever has the shirt has got to perform a bit more like the second half, energy, tempo, you know, you can't be brilliant every week, but you know what, you can be energetic, intense and work, you know, your socks off for the team um, every week and that's what we've got to do for the remaining games.